Fearsome Fury, Challenger, Spell Shield, Quick Attack, Tough, Elusive, Augment. <laughs> Dude, this, this deck is sweet. Do I gotta love Lucky Victor? And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucky Victor. This is a deck that I absolutely love to play. It's so much fun because really what we're trying to do is just get a lot of keywords on Victor. And um, that's going to be our, Victor is going to be our win condition. We're just going to be uh, creating these hex core upgrades, trying to play creative cards, level up Victor, and just have Victor go crazy. And that's a lot of fun. So we're just going to be playing defense and buffing up our victor a main part about this deck though is going to be mostly all shirima with golden ambassador so gold ambassador is going to be victor copies four through six we're, we're 34 shirima only six piltoverns on just ballistic bot and victor and so gold ambassador will draw victor that's why you, we're not playing any other champions we don't want to put a different champion in here because we always want ambassador to draw victor but it'll draw Victor and give the Victor plus two plus two. So then Victor starts as a four six instead of a two four. And that's just a huge difference, right? Having the six health instead of having the four health. That's very important. So Gold Ambassador is an important one. Then we also have Siphoning Strike in here that if we're able to use this, then our Victors you know, grow with even more health. And so that's, that's really important as well. Um, but let's see. We're calling it Lucky Victor because we're using Lucky Finds. We're going to be playing Inner Sanctum the landmark that will create two lucky finds. And this curves perfectly into Victor also. If you play Inner Sanctum on three and then Victor on four, you'll have your two lucky finds. That can, you can automatically uh, give Vic Victor two keywords with the lucky finds. And then um, and then whenever you play your hex core upgrade, you've already gotten two key keywords like off the board. And so it's a better chance that you hit the other keywords with your uh, hex core upgrade. So that's what we're kind of doing here. And then we're going to be playing this new card, uh, the Bruiser, that it can strike and create a lucky find. So each time this thing strikes, we're making lucky finds that will be buffing up our victor. That could be pretty fun. We did have, like the last time that we played this, um, you know, before that card was out, we had the four mana one, the five three, that created a lucky find, the Profiteer. And I think the Bruiser is going to be a nice upgrade because one, we already had like a lot of fours between Ambassador and Victor. And so like we're just clogged up there on four. But then two, this can create multiple lucky finds, and then it has it's the five five, so that you know gets that extra two health. And the one extra man isn't that big of a deal because of curve considerations. So I like this bruiser. So we're gonna play a couple we're gonna play those. We also got treasure seekers in here. Like last time we played the deck, treasure seeker wasn't uh, a card yet. It was before the expansion with treasure seeker, and so now this will be uh, be able to create waking sands, which is just another created card for Victor, so that's really nice. So there we go. Yeah, so then we'll be protecting Victor with Hourglass and Quicksand and stuff like that. I think that our worst, and we'll have a random Chrono Shift in here to help protect Victor. I think our worst matchup is going to be Lee Sin, because Lee Sin with the Dragon's Rage, it's just kind of impossible to stop. So if we don't, hopefully we don't play against Lee Sin, and hopefully we, we uh, do some cool stuff with Victor. So let's go, go ahead and get to it. These will be some longer games, because we don't kill the opponents too fast. We just try to... Uh, you know, keep getting lots of keywords on our victor and eventually attacking and killing them whenever we feel like it. Uh, you cannot get double attack, no, from the random keyword generator. No, double attack is not one of the keywords to get. Okay, Aurelia Azir. Lifesteal is always a great keyword to hit because, as you, can, you know, as you can imagine with us just being a slower deck, we are, uh, just, you know, like with us being a slow deck, I guess I go this. Let's see, I want to keep one of these, or maybe I send them both back. You know, people can uh, just out aggro us, right? Like we're just a slow victor deck. So lifesteal would be a good keyword to hit. Let's go hourglass. Hourglass protects against the bounce spells. They have like the four mana spells, bounce spells. Alright, some treasure seekers. That's uh, great early defense. Very happy that we got both treasure seekers. Ballistic bot. 
Bot's important, of course, because it creates the ignition every single round, which just really helps level up your victor, because it just gives you more and more creative cards. So that's why the bot is important. I'm kind of planning on playing the Golden Ambassador first instead of Victor first. Because again, getting 4 6 Victor much better. And then also, if I do that, we can, you know, we'll get Victor's Champion spell, which is this Death Ray, which. Honestly, when we're looking at a green blade duo right there, Death Ray is starting to look kind of nice. Every blade, every beat in its place. So here's the moment of truth. Do we go Ambassador, get a 4 6, or do I just slam down the victor and start getting keywords? I kind of want to ride negation this flawless duet because this flawless duet's going to just represent so much damage. But I can't really afford to do that. You know, I'd love to do that. All of this is ours. Can't spoil our We'll have five, six mana. What's up, Sparky? Doing great today. How are you doing? The Emperor commands the land obey. Man, Green Glade Duo is that's something else. They'll never see us coming. Follow my lead. Six. Save two life by throwing away the golden ambassador. It's probably not worth two life. Or like it's sorry, it's probably like worth two life to keep it. Yeah. That was a lot of damage. I feel like if I play the hex core upgrade, they bounce the victor. I guess if they bounce Vistar, victor, I get to kill Greenblade Duo, though. I don't know. Good chance I should just be passing. I'm super scared of this Greenblade Duo. Truly don't. This is three things attacking. That's damage and that's plus three plus zero on this Green Glade duo. Yeah, this duo probably has me. We I talked about it with the team of Israel. Elusives are really good. Not many people have a lot of removal and stuff. Go get the shiny. I mean, I basically I have to have the the death ray has to kill the duo. If they have any kind of protection for the death ray in the duo, then I lose. Mm. 
I'm doing it right now so I don't let them attack with six things. So they don't get to level up Aurelia. So right now this is just five attackers unless they have a one drop. Hopefully not. Oh, they had the one drop. And so that's that's why I didn't want them to have the blade surge. So with the blade surge, of course, that game is over because we just go block, 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 and that's already that's five. But well, we almost we almost did it. They had the nopify to get rid of my blocker, and then also, you know, like if they don't have the nopify or if they don't have the one drop, either one. We stay alive here. Get more keywords and stuff like that. But Green Blade Duo got me. Yeah, Viego Zed went 5-0. It was a really powerful version of Viego Zed. I think we were we were pretty fortunate with a lot of draws uh, and just like early starts and everything like that. Like we we had good hands quite a bit, but. Okay, slower deck. They're not killing me right away. I'm glad about that. We have Gold Ambassador to draw Viego. Or sorry, sorry, they're playing Viego. Sorry, to draw Victor. Gold Ambassador to draw Victor. And I kind of want to keep Siphoning Strike to go along with the Victor. I feel like Siphoning Strike could be really good. Yeah. Ooh. Quick hands make quick work. I've seen a okay amount of Aurelia's ear, not like a not like a ton. I usually probably play against it like once or twice a day out of the twenty games. Not really three or four times, I, I don't think I would say. So it depends if we want to go start, you know, like with the Sanctum into Victor. Yeah, there's Hunter. Oh, Merciless Hunter. Because unfortunately these lucky finds are... Um, whatever it's called. They're fleeting. So we gotta be able to play them immediately. Alright, I'm gonna buff up the Ballistic Bot to be a 3-3. Not allow them to get a free trade. Keep this Merciless Hunter at bay. I don't really know why the Encroaching Mist isn't attacking. The Chrono Shift is interesting. I do this for her, for us. By playing this, I don't have Chrono Shift available next round. Challenger. Lifesteal, please. Don't 
Do I think Thresh Nasa still has a meta spot? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not, honestly. It's kind of gotten outclassed by, like, Viego here. Where he, he can basically replace one of the two champions with Viego, like my opponent's doing. That's so it's at two right now, so it'll be three, four, five, six. Alright, so that's ten plus another four, so fourteen plus the two. Not here, not now. I guess I'm doing this. We got it first. You can ten either way. Yeah, th things need to change with this Viego card. <laughs> things definitely need to change with this card. So my only my only uh, hope is that the Siphoning Strike can kill Viego. If it doesn't, um, you know, we lose. If they have anything that breaks that up. Alright, so I already have Fearsome and Challenger. <laughs> I already have Fearsome and Challenger, so quick attack. Okay, I can go Spell Shield. We'll do that. This has to work. Has to work. All right, Life Steal. I guess I have Quick Attack Challenger. I can challenge this thing. Right, I have Quick Attack Challenger. Wait, I guess I have... Yeah, I guess I have Quick Attack Challenger. Life Deal? I'm surprised that the Riot Negation didn't kill something, but... Right, what did we just get? Elusive. Um, I can't kill them right now. I have Overwhelm, don't I? No Overwhelm. Well, I wish I didn't use my... I wish I would have just challenged to begin with. Anyway, because uh, then I would have just played the Bruiser afterwards. Any defensive things like Quicksand? Nope. Alright, that's a 4-1 I can kill with the MK2. So that's good. Block, block, kill that. I'm going down to three. Go down to four. Alright, lucky find. Overwhelm. Tough. Alright, tough's a different keyword. Now, lifesteal. Yeah, that's fine. That card doesn't really matter. What we get? Fury. Because I'm just going to be attacking them for lethal here. You know, so I don't die to atrocity. Yes, 
I don't know how they stay alive. I already got Fearsome Man Challenger. I guess plus one, plus one. This is a lucky victor! I already got Fearsome Man Challenger, so I guess plus two, plus zero. How do they stay alive? I don't think they can. Are they dead? 17? Fearsome Fury, Challenger, Spell Shield, Quick Attack, Tough, Elusive, Augment. <laughs> Dude, this, this deck is sweet. That's why I gotta love Lucky Victor. Okay, we get to try to defeat Aurelia Azir after losing to it round one. Devoted Council is pretty cool, but we're not going to be anywhere near a leveled up victor right now. Let's send it back. Gently, gently. <laughs> Ready, and Get him. Boom. The bot. Throw it down. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Coming at ya. And punch. Did they fall? I just want to hunt her, the sparring student. I'd rather hunt her a champion, right? Like it'd be nice to be able to if I if I didn't have this treasure seeker, if I'd just be able to, like ignition. And then they play a champion, then I hunt her. Could pass. Okay, Hunter's not gonna be able to play. Determine. We're here with Chronomancer. Take Golden Ambassador. Can always rely on you to keep us safe. Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. It can be undone. And I'm gonna save spell mana. Save the disengage. The Yordle here is with me. Full speed ahead. Listen to me. I want to save spell mana. So next turn's gonna be round five, so we'll have five, six, seven. Ugh. Should have played Waking Sands. I always forget about twin disciplines. That's a card now. In Shuriba's name. Prime and ready. Rise, Good about that card. Perfection. Victor. System upgrade. They probably don't have any more protection, do they? Yep. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. 
for fear. Your Emperor commands. Jerima is send in sky. Past and Okay, so we're gonna be playing our removal spell. Just do we do we try to kill the Azir or the Green Glade duo? I guess the Green Glade duo. Yeah, I think it's got to be the duo. Yeah, it's got to be the duo. Why would that 2 1 not attack? Alright, victor time. I guess I should challenge first. But victor could get like challenger for a keyword. Destroy mana gem to draw a champion. So they have either an Aurelia or an Azir. We could get like challenger with victor though. Siphoning strike. We'll get our legs in. Okay. Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, break maker. Stop. It is time. It's not that big a deal. But I can be over dramatic. Clumsy design. In Shurima's name. All right, looking for life steal or quick attack. Quick attack, pretty cool. All right, so next next round we have eight, nine, ten mana. Play this. So they have two cards in hand. We know one's a, a champion. So not. With only just one other random card, not super likely they're able to stop this. Get him. Get him, Victor. Yes, Victor. That's why I call it Lucky Victor. Lucky Victor. Scout, gross. Really wanted lifesteal, of course. Lucky Victor. Victor's lucky. Yeah, buddy. Block there, 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 there. Dead meat. We're still dead meat. All right. So you know, they they had the plus three plus one. That would kind of be annoying. But even if they had that, I you know had the golden ambassador get another vic another uh, victor, and of course they're out of cards. So yeah, I think these are the two best regions: Shrima and Ionia. Because yeah, Lee Sin, Zed, Aurelia, Shen, Karma, all those champions are, are good and playable. And of course, Shurima has, you know, so many different ones. I could see sending the bot back. Yeah, like, bot's just going to be too slow for this matchup, honestly. But I do kind of like this bruiser to try to... Try to handle um, Ruin Runner. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of all about 
Ionia, Shirima, and Diego. The third region. Good people don't look the other way. It's incredibly rare playing against anything else right now. We can always rely on you to keep This thing's a 3-2? Gross. In and out. Wow, not even worried. Not even worried about Shapestone. I can Hunter that, but I need a Hunter Sivir. I guess I should be playing Hunter just so that whenever I quicksand this thing, I can better block against Shapestone, though. Great hand. Like, this is round three. <laughs> Look at all this stuff out here at round three. That's round three. That's pretty crazy. Then do they go Sivir? Yeah. <laughs> wow, alright. Yeah, I... Walked into that, I suppose. That's helpful. So we're going to be trying to take down their champions. We love it when they run. That's a good sign that we'll be able to take down their champions. So now I don't... Zero mana. I don't. I think I can just make that. And I don't have to challenge with the 4-3. Just use this thing that already has vulnerable anyway. Alright, so our victor is only a 1 out of 7. If I play Chronomancer... Don't really... Alright, we're passing. So basically passing because... I mean, I guess I guess maybe I should play to turn this thing to a 3-1. But passing so that I can have um, Bruiser plus Quixian. Kind of thing, or you know, like you know, be able to choose what I want to do here. Go along with the bruiser. So Sivir just kills bot. Danger pays. We'll get our legs in. It's a living. Watch me. Oh. Twenty-one, twenty-nine. Listen to me. Level up. Definitely use a champion. Victor. No. So 
So basically I'm thinking like I could use like quicksand to get rid of the spell shield and then and siphoning strike. And try to take out the Sivir with that. That's probably not gonna work though. Let's skip. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. I am definitely going to have to quicksand to take out the spell shield. However. But there's a good chance they have like deny. We need Victor for our lucky Victor deck. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Yeah, our vi lucky Victor deck needs Victor. There we go. I guess it's not better. Yeah, like attacking is not any better. Or like blocking, I mean, sorry, blocking is not any better. Devoted Council. Well, we haven't drawn a victor yet, so... I haven't drawn a champion. So we probably haven't leveled a champion. That's my best guess. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. Calamanda, our home. Still 1-6 blocks. Fairly well. Business as usual. It's a living. Your funeral. This one's a fighter. It's not safe. I feel like. Maybe I need a block like this just to save, you know, save Nexus health. I don't know. Can I can I afford doing this? I'm putting me down to eight right now. Very very possible to have eight points of like buff. Yeah right. Why do they always draw multiple Ruin Runners? Right. I know. I guess if they got eight points of buff, I'm probably going to be losing anyway. Let's. Oh, that's that's nice. Give all their stuff quick attack again. Ancient Hourglass save something probably doesn't matter that much, to be honest. Quick attack or Overwhelm? Quick attack just kills the 3-1. Overwhelm basically just kills the 3-1 as well. Do I have, like, pump spells I can play on this thing? Not really. All of this is ours. Flesh is a weakness we must share. I can take out one Ruin Runner. One, one, two, three. Don't have Hourglass, but... Fearsome? That's not very useful. I played this Treasure Seeker hoping that they would play something else, but I guess I, I should have just kept the Hourglass available. You know, like, you know, giving them priority again? Yeah, but because of this card. Yes. 
We have determined today that Ruin Runner is a much better Sejuani <laughs> from playing earlier today. Moon Runner spell shield is too good. Yeah, better champion than Hecarim, better champion than Sejuani, better champion than Darius, better champion than Trindamir. Like any any of those decks. Like, would you rather have like any of those cards over Ruin Runner? And you're like, no, I'd rather just have Ruin Runner. Thank you. Sending y'all back. Okay, so is this five for five against? Is it? I think this is five. Is is all five matches been against Ionia Sharima? I know four of the five have. Have all five been against Ionia Sharima? Once I stand papers, now faces. Yeah, some champ some level one champions have two keywords like Sivir, because it's a Shrima card, you know, it has spell shield quick attack. There's not many though that have two keywords. Do I want to just inner sanctum up this ballistic bot? I kinda do. Oh wait. I need to not play that so I'd have siphoning strike next round. If I inter because I, I want tough, right? Tough is like the best thing that I could hit out of these lucky finds. The desert by my side. Always falling. Oh, they had the attack token this round, not next round. So ordinary. Risky block there, because if they have Shape Stone, I lose the game. But it's also just a million Sand Soldiers stacking. I guess I wouldn't lose the game. I just have to put them on like my Golden Ambassador. These lucky finds. No tough. Progress. Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. Bask in the sunlight. I should, um... I mean, I guess I could have just like, gone lucky, fine pass, gone lucky, fine pass, you know, wait, you know, have them play with, like, one of their champions, and then Hunter. Could have done that. Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, break maker. No mercy. Both champions? Please, tough or lifesteal. Preferably lifesteal. Regen? I guess regen will do. Could be worse. But I guess I'm dead, though. Yeah, looks like I'm pretty dead. Braum has two keywords? What does Braum have besides regen? Isn't it just regen? Oh, challenger. Right, 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 challenger. Alright, so... I think that I could have won this game. I know it looks weird. It looks, yeah, like that's weird saying it from here. 
but I think that if I if I like lucky find pass priority to them, like I think they're playing the Azir and I, I merciless hunter the Azir. Kill you know, kill the Azir. I had that ability. And uh then then like, you know, they're not getting like this is a lot different without that Azir. Like that last attack is different, then all this is different. That two extra attackers may not have allowed them to... Maybe they don't... ...have that ability. Not here, not now. Okay, so we have to block, block... ...and block. This is the blocking we have to do. Yep, they could have easily won. I didn't have any mana. But I guess they decided... No big deal, they just wanted to kill Victor instead. Alright, so that was that was my fault. On uh, my timing and everything, I needed to hold up that Merciless Hunter. Okay, so some frustrating games, just kind of playing against the same deck five times in a row. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I know four of the five were like the same thing of just, you know, Ionia, Trima, Aggro. Sometimes it's Sivir and Auction, sometimes it's really Azir. It's, a, it's the same deck, you know, it's just Twin Disciplines and Shape Stones and uh, lots of Quick Attack and Spell Shield and yeah, basically. Blocking is difficult and we're playing a slower, you know, for fun Victor deck, so blocking is kind of difficult. Now, to be fair, I think I could have made some better decisions in two of the losses, and I could have played a little tighter. End of the stream, you know. Um, but yeah, I could have played a little bit better in a couple of those losses. But Oh well, I, I enjoy playing Victor. You know, hopefully one day we'll play against a different deck, and then, you know, we can have fun with that. But, um, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. So anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, I do recommend trying this deck out. If you like Victor and everything, maybe, you know, maybe play it a little bit more normal than uh, in ranked, uh, unless you want to, you want those kind of matches. But this can do some really fun stuff and you can do some really crazy stuff with Victor and, and I, I enjoy playing it quite a bit. So um, anyway, that's going to be it here though for Lucky Victor. Kind of reminder, I know y'all watch it on YouTube. We're going to be watching it a lot later. This is, we're recording on Saturday. Uh, I'm going to be uh, taking, I'm going to be traveling. Come here. Taking Sunday through Thursday off. Come here, pup. <laughs> the pup doesn't want to jump. There we go. And so <clears throat> I will be back recording live on Friday. After this, I have meme tier decks from Monday and Tuesday this past week. We had a lot of fun meme tier decks. Lots of good records with our meme tier decks because, you know, they're playing on over in normal, so lots of fun games. If you want to see different stuff, if you are, you know, tired of Auction and Viego and just just a, um, Ionia, Sharima everywhere. So you can see, um, you know, see those videos. And, uh, yeah, hope, to, hope everybody has a great week. And I will be back on Friday. And we'll see, we'll see what the metagame looks like next week. <laughs> so, all right, but that's going to be it here for Lucky Victor. So again, thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you for the next video.